Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Eek, and today I have a future Basie Quartz Stack tutorial using Vital. Uh, Vital's pretty cool. Um, it's like Serum, but like a couple more advanced uh, knickknacks that are going on. Um, I guess I'll walk you through the layering. Um, just go here. Um, 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 um. So yeah, I have, uh, I won't go into every little detail, but I just wanted to show off what's going on. I have everything kind of being modulated by this FL, oh, FL, FL Studio, LFO, <laughs> and it's just on an eighth note, just going down, um, and I have a balance, um, just controlling the volume of all of the stacks, just the, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of used to doing it with balance. But um, yeah, for this first little oscillator, I got, uh, I believe it's a square wave. Um, and there's, there's these wave uh, morph modes and there's a spectral morph mode. Um, and I got sync on this one and it's kind of just like serum where you can just like bend and yeah do fm and do all kinds of kinds of crazy shit i haven't gotten i haven't gotten too deep into it yet but um just i'm just bringing the light just the possibilities of like sound design when doing chord stacks it's just like just i don't know just makes it a, more, way more easier way more easier and i got random um amplitude uh amplitudes on the spectral morph um and it's just kind of, I don't know what it does exactly. I guess random frequencies get amplitude, amplified. I was just going for the sound. I don't know what it does, but I just went with it. And oscillator two, I got, uh, it's transposed up an octave. Um, and I just want to talk about this uh, pitch tab. You can like select different notes. Um, Back to the chord, so you can like select. Oh, spooky! Um, but yeah, you can select different um, notes instead of like doing the MIDI. You can just like already dedicate. Like sometimes I like to dedicate like a fifth, like um, like a C and a G, just over everything, just because it sounds. It gives it more of a pretty effect. So. I can be like, yo, I just want those notes. And it's just a little easier shortcut <clears throat> for that. Um, so I got harmonic stretching on the spectral morph and nothing on the yeah, wave, whatever. And <laughs> and yeah, I'm do this is uh, the voices of unison too on the left, and this is the detuning detuning uh, side of it. Um, and I'm actually automating the detuning de for something here, I think. Yeah. Just the more you spread it out, obviously, the more detuned it is. And I just kind of have like a little automation with that just to give it more motion. Let's turn off some things. Yeah, it just gives it a cool, like, future bassy effect. Um, and that's what I wanted with all this uh, patch, was just like a warbly, vocodery kind of mess almost over top of just like normal saws over like, like how I usually do things in Harmor. Um, and that gives it a really cool future bassy effect. Um, the effects I got going on are chorus. I'm just doing short delay, not too much depth. And this chorus is really sweet.
I like that. I don't want it too like pitchy. Um, and then I got this flanger going on, and you can like resonate it a little bit more to so find a certain notes. Uh, I think it's doing a note. Whatever, it's just creating more movement um, and stuff and things. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think that's all I did with this. But yeah, I want to also bring to light <coughs> some of the advanced settings. Um, you can do note tracking and high resolution uh, wavetable things right here. Um, and you can also put a because uh, uh, this vital is really heavy on the CPU you can also like do draft and like uh, higher things or whatever so it's save your CPU a little bit I just put it on draft um, but yeah this unison blend is uh, obviously just like one voice in the middle and you can turn down the the vo unison voices around it kind of a thing uh, this is obviously just stereo unison. I just bump that up, bump it up, bump it up. I don't know why that's down. Oh, wait. I think I wanted it to be centered. Yeah. Um, so you can just further, and you get into the detune range of things too, like serum. Um, you just further advancement on certain things uh, that you are looking for um and this is all going to a vital or uh, into a mixer bus which is going through a frequency splitter which is new with the uh, 20.8 um uh this is just better controlling your chord stacks so you can uh fit it into the mix a little bit better obviously um so you side chain out to three different empty buses and you can yeah just uh, control the amplitude and like where it is obviously um within the spectrum and yeah i'm doing ott on the low mids and highs uh just to kind of give it that ott classic feel oh whoops um and then harmer is just like sol's on both sides, A and B, just whatever, usual stuff, warming it up, cooking it up, and it fills it out a little nice, a little nicely, nicer, whatever words, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, 20, around 30% on the OTT for all of them, and I'm just kind of boosting certain things. Sounds a little more fuller. And I could do like, uh, what do you call it? Mid side EQing to like further like get the stereo down, but I'm doing just like a mono on the low and then kind of spread out in the mids and really spread out on the highs. That's what I really usually kind of do with the uh, chord stacks or just like mixing in general. It's just like kind of how it works, right? Um, but yeah, I'm just, that's just the easier way and I'm just putting it all is going in the side chain and it's getting ducked by the kick and the snare. Yeah, that's it. And just have a balance to control, uh, everything a little bit more. I think I already said that, um, just to get that right hovering LFO sound that everybody loves. And you can further, further mix it by turning down certain things. Yeah, it needs some work, but I just wanted to show off this sweet ass plugin that's for free. And you all should definitely try it out. Um, a little heavy on the CPU, but 
if you just go into that draft setting, should be all right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just got like basic shit going on, melody and just like a distorted bass, some harmer for the bass. Um, yeah, but yeah, let me know if you want more vital tutorials. I'm still trying to learn it. Um, let me know if you have any questions and have a good day. Peace.